Welcome back to AE Luthier. In this video, I'm going to make a custom mod of adding a mud bucker in the neck position acting as a subwoofer and our middle pickups being our clean bass signal. This job is going to be different because it's a personal project, but I will also be making the cuts freehand by using the center line as my guide. Let's get started. We'll first find our center line by measuring the outside edges of the neck heel. Remember to take notes of your measurements as you go along. Next, with the plastic film still in the cover, measure the width of the plate. We'll need to move the strings away from our work path, but for what I'm going to be working on, I'll just wrap them around the bridge. Now matching our film line and the center of the heel, use tape to hold it in place. You can now mark your pre-drill holes with the bit size of the nail and use as a reference guide for future cuts. If everything is lined up, score the perimeter of the plate to leave a reference line on your film. Remove the guard and keep a spot for all your screws and parts. This step is just for the plate where we're going to lay down some tape to keep the silhouette of the cover. Now to get the dimensions of the cavity route, we're going to measure the pickup itself that will lay underneath the plate. Because this is a personal project, I'm not concerned with minor scratching, especially if it's going to be under a pick guard, but I'm going to try to keep the excessive lines to a minimum. Using an X-Acto blade, I followed points I've made with the scratching along the measurements and made a groove in the shape of the cavity. With the dry erase marker, I run across the lines to keep a solid reference line while I make my cuts. You'll have to remove the neck for this next step. Just as an extra precaution, tape up the surrounding area so the base of the routers don't destroy the body's finish. first cut is going to be a rough cut of an eighth of an inch to get started.
I'm going to go a little deeper, but I'm going to take my time to clean up the rough lines that look unattractive. Now that the pool is deep enough for the bearing of the router, we can use our edges as a guide to keep digging deeper. Our final pickup depth is 1 in 75 thousandths of an inch. To get tighter corners, I'll use a smaller router bit and follow the same process as before. Now that the pickup fits, I have to make a channel for the wire to get through. The channel doesn't have to be as deep as either pickup cavity, so we're going to just try to get as deep until the wire can come through. Although not the prettiest, everything fits comfortably and clean. Come check out our next video when we work on the pick guard and control harness. If you learned something from the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks again for watching AE Luthier.